Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here. Welcome to episode 34 of my Sky Factory Let's Play. Alright, so in between episodes, I did quite a lot of work. Uh, I did some more work on the farms because I needed iron, which I now have 13k of. So yeah, I spent a bit of time doing stuff. Uh, I, like, moved, like, three of these farms and just made them all iron farms and, yeah... <laughs> Still not getting there. Uh, there's a little cactus farm here. You know, I may never need cactus again, but it's it's nice to have. Um, and I fixed the wall, I think. I think that's everything that I had missing. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, this episode I'm going to continue working on the wall. Not the wall, because we did the wall. But the uh, wall of uh, all the item frames that we need to do. And for that we're going to need... All this lovely armor. Can we actually make leather armor? Oh uh, yes, but can we? Oh yeah, cool. We should have plenty of that stuff. So chuck that stuff, and then all we need, I think, is one more set because we need eight sets of different armor. I think we have four, five, six. So I think we need two more. What have we got? We got one, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, let's take the Never Star out. Where did the item frame go? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. Let's put the item frame back. No, I didn't want to put that on. Oh, my uh, cap's gone. Oh well. Did I? Ah, there, please go in the right spots. Uh, that's different to how I did it here. So those need to come out. The uh, chest plate goes there. Where is the other item frame? There. Pants, then boots. Alright, uh, I'll keep the wall there for now. Let's uh, put the treasure core there. No, 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 no. Stop doing that. There we go. So, I got a few comments from people basically giving me ideas on how to get the uh, cobble production, or the, uh, the compressed cobble, set up. Now there's one thing that I didn't think of, and that is, why not put all these item cards in the same chest? Well, that's a pretty good idea. I don't know why I went for this whole elaborate setup. Actually, I think it might be... Actually, if we take off... Actually, no, because it's only taking out compressed cobalt, so that's fine. So if we take out all these cards, they're all going to be in the same thing, and it's probably going to increase it to be a little bit faster. Alright. So if we grab all of these out, just chuck them all in the same thing. You know, we just chuck some cobble in there, and it's going to compress up basically. <laughs> and someone else mentioned, uh, what was it? That's probably going to speed things up a bit, but there was something else, a different type of pipe. I can't remember. Let me have a second to look this up because it was important. All right, so it wasn't actually a pipe. It was someone suggested to use a cyclic assembler, and that was Kevin Yam Yamaoka. Yamaoka. Cyclic Assembler. That's from Thermal Expansion. That could be interesting. Again, I think in order for any of this to actually become possible, uh, what we would need to do is have these going directly into uh, the chest. I think. Um, because the AE cables just are not quick enough. So let's have a look at a cyclic assembler then. One, two, and... Am I out of glass? No. There we go. Cyclic assembler. Alright, so how does this work? Needs power, of course. 
schematic. So we need to put the schematic in there. Pump in. You see, that kind of... I think the Darkcraft way would work better, to be honest. It's just what I think. Um, yeah. But the problem is... All of these stuff need to be replaced with transfer nodes. Although if we put enough speed upgrades in them, it'll probably pull out quite quick. Let me test that. Uh, let me grab transfer node and some pipe. So some speed upgrades would be nice. Speed and a stack upgrade, I believe, would be what we need. Because what does this do? Yeah, because a stack upgrade does stacks at a time. What's that missing from the top? Gold nugget. That's pretty simple to do. There we go. Stacks upgrade. Mining upgrade is pretty useless in this. So let's grab three stacks of that. Two and three. All right, that should be good. So what we can do, what we should be able to do, uh, I don't want to cut this off. So might be a good idea to grab some spare ME cable, root around it, so that we're not cutting it off. One piece. That's uh, not enough. How are we on cobble, by the way? Uh, 246 million. So, <laughs> it's a few off 2 billion, but we're getting there. What about the uh, fluid storage? Almost full. Almost. That should be enough cables. So, let's head down. Let's do this. Alright, so, we're going to have to root around this. So let's destroy these. Oopsies. Uh, quick, quick, quick. There we go. So then what we can do is probably just do that. So yeah, we only needed one cable. We probably didn't need any of them actually. But that's alright. So then we chuck a... Tr this is probably full, yep. So we chuck a transfer node onto this. Stacks upgrade as well as all these speed. And if we do that, we check a chest on that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much instant. So that leads me to believe... Hmm. Problem is, the longer the cable gets, the longer it takes. Why is... Ah, oh, crap. There we go. So if we simply just run cable off of those directly into this chest over here. Although, what if we had an ender chest? That could actually work. If we put an ender chest on top of... Ah, uh, yeah, that might be a good idea, actually. I'm onto something here. Alright, so let's grab a few of these. What are we missing? White wool. How can we be missing white wool? Oh, sorry, I can create a ton of it anyway. Don't know why I didn't go with ender chest to begin with. It's probably a much better way. And we're going to need a ton of, well, five chests will do, I suppose. So we get these five ender chests. Uh, if we remove this, I believe this has all the necessary upgrades. Yep. We chuck that there. Just leave it on white, white, white for the moment. And then I should probably get rid of this. Yep. So if we then chuck... Remove this completely. We don't even need that other transfer node. Chuck that onto there. That should be pretty smooth sailing. Let's uh, get rid of this cobblestone. Alright, 
Let's check this. It's up to quadruple already. Yeah, that's uh, probably a good idea. Alright. So then if we replicate this, if we just uh, get rid of all of these... Yoink, yoink. Didn't mean to get rid of that. And then replace that so the rest keep going through. Do that. Chuck that down. See, now I think it's at the point where we're going to need an ender chest for two. Actually, maybe not. Actually, we could put more transfer nodes on this, probably. If we did that, did a stacks upgrade... ...and did that, that would probably... yeah! Oh, that could be good. I really think I'm onto something here. Uh, so let's chuck. Add it into there. Uh, let's get rid of this. Yoink. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. There we go. Get rid of that. Chuck that on. These three were the only ones that were fully done anyway, so that is good news. So let's chuck all this cobblestone into there. There we go. Pick all of our junk up. Oh, I didn't mean to put the item filter in there. What's that? Quintuple compress. This actually could be a good idea. It's going pretty fast. And I imagine it can only go even faster. Hmm. Yes, I like this idea a lot. I think this could work. Problem is, actually no, because... That's alright. If we disable this, all we need to do is to chuck it into this. So if we do that... We just... no. We connect that up. So what we can do... Actually, it might be a good idea to separate this. So if we get rid of that... It'd be best if we chucked it into the back. Like that. Move that. Actually, not really a good idea to get rid of that it's completely. Right, let's clean this up. Not making too many holes. Uh, da -da -da. Yoink. Thank you. Alright, that's everything. So what we should be able to do is chuck an ender chest, say right here, nodes all around the outside, as well as even the top probably. Oh yeah, look at that. Then we can chuck a stack upgrade and a speed upgrade in each for now. That's all we need for now because the cable is not going to be very long at all. Where are the rest of my speed upgrades? Have they gone into the system? Oh, we need more. Alright. I think one stack of speed upgrades should be fine. Speed. 
There we go. Yeah, that should that should be fine. There. Yep, that's got it. That's got it. That hasn't got all of it. That one's got it. All right, so they've all got speed upgrades in it. So then what we can do is connect this up. Like that. And then... Do that. Get rid of that. And what we can do is, when we're not using it, simply do that and then that will start to chuck it into this thing. It should anyway. Although not fast enough. I think we're going to need more speed upgrades. How's that looking now? Is that emptying a little bit quicker? Not particularly. I don't know if... I don't think we can put more than one stack upgrade in. I don't think it has any benefit at all. I really don't. I think we just need more speed upgrades. Let's chuck all this crap away. Actually, why do I have a... Why was there a deep storage unit there? There's nothing in it. Maybe I just accidentally picked... Oh, yeah, because that's what had the cobblestone in it when I was trying before. That's all right. Uh, speed... No, no, no. Let's get a few of those. We just put two in each, two stacks in each. See if that makes any difference at all. Yeah, that seems to have worked better. All right, so if we put three stacks of upgrade speed upgrades in all of them, then we should be good to go. This should be able to handle a ton of cobblestone. There we go. I don't know why I didn't think of ender chests earlier. It's a much nicer way to have done this rather than using ME cable. Alright. So how's this looking? Uh, it's doing pretty well. I wouldn't say it's at 10,000 per second yet. I'd say we're at about half of that. Looks like we're about 5,000 per second. Which is not too bad. So then basically whenever we want to cut this off, all we have to do is do that and that. And then this will start to do its magical job and start compressing. So yeah, it's just a matter of upgrading all these now. So let me basically go and upgrade a few of these if I can and then see where we are from there and go from there. Alright, so I upgraded fully one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. Now I think that's about the maximum because if we have a look in here, it will sometimes just completely fill up. I think seven is the maximum. So if we are going to do another set, you know, which is pretty easy to do, how many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can just make another colored. Uh, and a chest set and can do the setup again you know it's it's not that hard to figure out it's a uh, pretty simple you know and this is going pretty fast actually I mean it's only been uh, probably like 10 15 minutes if that and we're already at uh, sextuple compressed which is pretty good we're almost I think this is gonna be good enough uh, but what I think I'm going to do for safety is I'm going to have another set of this set up right uh, and let's just go right next door and we have transfer nodes around the side actually we may not even need another color ender chest thinking about it hold on 
Let me try this. Let me just put this directly here. Now, if I do this, I wonder if that will help. Bit of a loop, but uh, that may actually help. Once this gets speed upgrades anyway. Uh, once they get speed and uh, the stacks upgrade, that might not even need another color, so let's have a look. Four stacks upgrade, we need one more. If we can. Uh, gold nuggets. There we go. Grab that stacks upgrade. Gonna need a few more mining upgrades. Well, not mining upgrades, get rid of that. So, if we need three in each and there's five, means we're gonna need 15 stacks. Yeah, that sounds about right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We may not have the redstone for this. It's going to be close. Do we have the gold? Yeah, we have 10k gold. I don't think we have anything to worry about for that. So let's have a look. Grab these mining upgrades out because they are clogging the system a little bit. If we grab all of these out, that should be enough to basically offset this. We'll have a look. If not, I can uh, add a different color to the uh, end of chest and we should be fine. Even that should lessen the load on it. Uh, upgrade. I don't see why this wouldn't work. It makes sense that it would work in my mind anyway. Stacks upgrade. One in there. No, oh, did I calculate this wrong? Yeah, gonna need four more stacks. I'm guessing we're out of something. We've gotta be. Yep, okay, we're out of redstone. So that's as bad as good as we can get, uh, but let's see if that's lessened the load at all. Yeah, it looks like it's lessened the load. Should be doing this quicker now as well. Ooh, we have a septuple compressed cobblestone now. That's not too bad, actually, considering it's probably only been about 20 minutes. Maybe not. I don't know, it's going to be hard to tell. But if, when we actually f get the chance to fully upgrade these, uh, I think we're going to be good. I think. There's no way to know. Uh, but give me a, a, a little bit to get... Uh, oh, actually, no, we're out of redstone, so it's not particularly going to help. Yeah, we're going to need to alleviate the uh, redstone shortage. i take that out of... No, I didn't mean for that. Chuck that into there, so it's at least got some speed boost. Alright, septuple. Oh yeah. So, septuple, we need nine of these. So we would need, in total, if we need nine of these to create an octuple. I'm assuming that's the next step is octuple, isn't it? Yeah. So if we need nine of these, and we, made, we need to make one... We need nine of those. So we need to make one every... Oh, we got 60 minutes to do it by nine. Means we need to make one every six minutes. I think that may be doable with this setup once they're all fully upgraded. I think. But for a second, let me do this and let's see if we're up to the 10,000 per second yet. Mm, doesn't look like we're there yet. 
Although I think because it's a longer cable, it's a uh, it's a uh, not so efficient. So let me do that. What I'm going to do is before I destroy that, which would be a very bad thing. Let's just get a force wrench and do it, which I apparently don't have one. That way things aren't going to fly absolutely everywhere. Apparently no force ingots. Let's get a stack of those. Alright, because if we just broke this, things would fly everywhere. Shift right click it, insufficient fuel. See, you've got to fill it with force gems. Didn't need that many, but uh, that will do. Didn't mean to turn that. Alright, let's not do that again. Alright, so shift right click this. It will pick it up as a tile with everything in it. So what we can do is we can move this. If we just move this right up to the top. Kind of in a central point. Uh, there. That's going to go basically as fast as it possibly can. Oh yeah, that's not even, well, barely even filling up anymore. Whew. So this could be good. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, in between episodes, I will finish this up. Once I get enough redstone, I'll probably plant a few redstone farms. Because um, we don't need as much iron or gold anymore, because we have tons of it. Um... And yeah, uh, but I will let you know now that this series will probably not be going on as often as it has been. Simply because we're near the end and the rest of the stuff is pretty painful to do. Uh, so what we'll probably end up doing is, or what I'll probably end up doing is just doing it maybe once a week. Simply because there's just not enough content. Um, but I will be looking at doing... Probably UHS. That's a nice new mod pack. Hardcore come out. Do a uh, kind of a single player. It's on a server, but uh, it is playing it as if I'm alone. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, as usual, let's get a few lucky blocks. Ten will do. Let's chuck these away. Nope. Okay. Alright, let's head into here. Uh, I also have enough of these end portal frames to actually make this setup in the dimensions we need to. So that will be good as well. We still need a wither out of this. Oh, I still have magnet mode on. That's alright, that works. We can kind of see what we're getting. Tanks, uh, bone crook, yeah. Oh, I actually needed one of those because I. Uh, Lost mine when I died at some point. Three loot bags, one of each tier. God, how hard is it to get a wither out of one of these? Yeah, nothing bad came out of that one. Which was uh, very surprising. But I'm not complaining. Well, actually I am complaining because I want a uh, wither. But that's alright. Let's get rid of all this junk then. Trash can, I will link this though. Uh, it's in the power thing. There we go, linked, and then I can charge this up. Cool, glad to have that back again. But yeah, I'll end the episode there. And as I said, I'll probably only look at doing these episodes maybe once or twice a week, depending on how much content there is to actually do, because it is a, a little bit end game now. Yeah, I still don't think this is fast enough. I'm going to keep my eye on it, and we will see how it progresses once I have completed all of these. So yeah, we'll see. So again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.